Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a P&G gin and tonic, and those letters will uh, become apparent as we build our way through the cocktail. Having said that, the cocktail purists out there that love gin and tonics will ask you just to keep it the same. But for the rest of us who want to try something a little bit different and really gorgeous to look at, there's this. Now, we are going to build this in a goblet and if they build in the glass, meaning it's physically built, it's not shaken, it's not stirred, we'll just build it directly into the glass and enjoy it afterwards. So we're going to start by filling the glass with a little bit of ice. The first ingredient that we're going to use now is a little bit of melon liqueur of your choice. Now, we don't need a lot. This will just give us a little bit of flavor and a little bit of color. And we're going to start that off with a quarter of an ounce, which works out to seven and a half mils. Your second ingredient is going to be a little bit of lime juice. Um, not everybody puts any kind of citrus in their cocktail. However, this will just actually go a little bit with the flavoring that you have. So we'll cut this in half. And then what we'll do is we will squeeze this directly into the glass for the same amount of a total of seven and a half mils or a quarter of an ounce. Now that you've completed this step, what we're going to do is add some tonic water. Uh, use whatever tonic water you want. Um, just take into account that the flavors that you have that you're going to be working with. Now, what we need here is three ounces or 90 milliliters, and we'll just pour that on top slowly. Now that we've added in our tonic water, what we're going to do is use our butterfly pea flower tea infused gin. In this case, I'm getting or using Empress 1908. However, if you can't get this, you can infuse your own gin to be able to get the same effect and the flavors that you want. So what we're going to do is use an ounce and a quarter, which works out to 37 and a half mils, and we'll just slowly pour that on top to give us this beautiful purple layer. This looks absolutely gorgeous. So what you can do now is you can either drink this right through the layers or you can give this a little bit of a stir. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. This will give us a gorgeous light purple color. And look at that, absolutely fantastic to drink. <clears throat> and just the way a gin and tonic should be. It should be full of gin, that tonic, and just this has slight hints of the citrus and the melon. If you like a great gin and tonic, take a look after the recipe card right here.